Hey guys, this is an unboxing of the Norris Digital Jumbo from Stedler. Let's open it up. So it has some replacement nerves. Okay. Yeah, that's it. This is a pen. Wow, it's really small, it's really short. You know, it's shorter than the, it's almost the same size as the book's regular pen. But since it's wire, it's very chubby looking. Yeah, it feels comfortable in the hand. Here is a comparison of the lens of each pen. This is Apple Pencil, second generation. This is a Note Air pen. This is a Norris Digital Jumbo. And this is a regular box pen. And uh, here is the replacement nibs. I assume you put, put it like this. And you got it out. And uh, I think you can just put it right back. Hey guys, here's a close-up look at the Norris Digital Jumbo from Stedler on a Note Air. So this is my review, the whole review. So I have concluded three points. First, it works out of the box. The eraser, although the official website said it's not compatible with Onyx books devices, however, it works. And uh, the nib feels somewhat in between the regular box pen, this one, and this one. I think this one is the softest. This one is in between. This one is a little bit hard, so um, feels a little bit more slippery on the glass surface. So this too has some drag, but this one is also smooth. This one has some softness on it. So the slippery level, know that this is very subjective. So Norris is greater than the Max 3 pen, is less slippery than the Note Air pen, and very much less slippery than Apple Pencil on the iPad Pro. So yeah, so I will add another page. Let's write something. So however, if I write them all together, so I cannot erase them separately. So if you write something in one stroke, and if you erase, you erase them all. So that's how the eraser works. So one thing I want to note is the eraser. You see, these two, I believe the mechanism are the same. However, there is a slight difference. There is some give and this one is slightly, I would say, softer feeling. This one is hard, but it has a more significant give into the shell itself. So what's the design difference is this one has a rounded corner and this one is more, you know, ang angular. So if I use this on the screen, it it go back to the pen shell a little bit, so protecting the screen. And this one, you don't have that significant, you know, change feeling. It doesn't, it doesn't go back, retract to the pen shell. However, however, because it's a rounded shape, it gives you a, I don't know, more natural feeling. Like you don't feel you are putting a edge on the screen because it's pretty weird to do that. You know, you don't use an edge to erase something. But uh, yeah, that's the difference between the two. But uh, accuracy wise, they are almost uh, identical. Uh, I would say I prefer this one. This one feels um, very plasticky. Not, that's a very accurate description. It's full of plastic. This one, I don't know what, what it's made of. Is this paper or wood or plastic? I don't know. It's, 
It's just a feel like a regular pencil. I, I feel comfortable writing it. Yeah, let's go back to the writing test. So it is very smooth. It is uh, just work out of the box, just like any e-ink note-taking device. There is a lag between after you write something and maybe after half a second, they then the screen will render it on the screen. I will try to increase. Okay, you can see the you can see some traces on the screen. I'm not sure if they are. They are the ghosting or they're just the traces on the screen. I will have a global refresh. Okay, it is some e-ink refresh tracing. So now I have a global refresh, so it's very clear. Nothing is there. So I'll write something. You see, it, it take maybe it takes half a second or less than half a second so it doesn't bother me at all so the note taking app is very well optimized did i spell that correctly yeah this feels different this feels different Yeah, this one is finer and uh, has a more rigid feeling and probably more precise, but uh, a little bit slippery. So this one is in the middle and this one has most traction. As you can hear, see, there is a pen and a paper sound. So what about this one? The sound is much less. Oh, okay. You hear something if you write at an angle. So what about this one? No sound at all. Yeah. Even if you push it. Pressure sensitivity. So if you write very... Let me refresh again. Global refresh and zoom. So if I write very light, I write somewhat with some pressure with a lot of pressure with very much pressure i think this is the most pressure i will put so yeah it works so This is a pretty good, pretty awesome pen. So if you buy them from Amazon, it will take you about 40 bucks. It's expensive, but uh, it's a solid pen. So after all, it has two parts. One is the pen structure itself. It is related about your holding feeling. Is it ergonomic? Is it comfortable to use? And for example, this one is definitely too slim and very plasticky, very light. And um, since here is a button here, so you're writing and you just uh, accidental touch it and you delete something. So I don't like that. The actual writing experience though, is more about the nibs. And those nibs are quite different, I can tell you. You see here? So this one is definitely thicker nib and these two are sharper. Right, and pr probably the material in, in the note air pen is a little bit different. So I would reckon this is a very good uh, digital note taking pen. Note taking, yeah. Yeah, I can recommend this pen, pretty good.